my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the middle of the month love readings this is going to be for capricorn sun moon rising and venus happy new year's everyone i hope that you guys are <clears throat> starting off the year very good <clears throat> very amazing sorry if i sound a little bit scruffier than usual <laughs> um this crazy weather it's like super cold then it gets hot and it's like it's throwing me off you guys anyways all right, if you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time a video goes up. Let's get into your reading. We're going to start off with the Oracle cards, then we're going to jump into the reading with your Tarot cards. Uh, Capricorn, let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Give me one second. Let me sip on my tea. <clears throat> my throat is a little bit dry right now. All right, let's get into your reading. Capricorn, let's see what's going on. Your first card here, whoa, broken heart. Okay. Storm warning. All right. And the sun card. Very, very contrast here. Okay. Broken heart. Okay, so I'm being pulled up for some of you Capricorns. Um, you could be dealing with a situation, um, dealing with the person that keeps coming back around. Uh, this could be very inconsistent type of energy. Broken heart is a signifier of, if you can see here, there's a lot of scars. There is, it's, uh, it almost seems like it's trying to heal, but the more you pick at it, the more it becomes very difficult to heal from that. So again, I, I, I feel like it's a it's an energy that comes in and goes out. Um, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a situation where there's often fights or arguments. I feel, what I'm hearing is you've outgrown this relationship or you've outgrown this connection, Capricorn. Uh, this is for those of you guys that are dealing with an energy that is very inconsistent, like I said. Um, now, for others of you, I feel that there is a lot of healing that you've been going through for the past couple of years. I want to say the past three years, it's been very difficult. And for some of you guys, it could have been working on shadow work. It could represent having to deal with past traumas, past um, experiences in your relationship and really trying to heal from that. Um, and I definitely do see that. Now, with the storm warning... If you are one of the Capricorns that is currently dealing with a very unstable relationship, a relationship that, like I said, you guys keep breaking up, coming back to each other, breaking up, I feel that you feel like you've already, like something within you, you're getting to the point of feeling like you've exhausted the opportunities. Or you've outgrown this relationship. And, and it's like, you can't really put your finger on it, but there is some type of anxiety here. There's some type of stress or feeling like something's going to happen. You just don't know what it is. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, it's the acknowledging that you've outgrown this relationship or that it's not worth you putting any more effort. You have the star card. Uh, sorry, not the star card. The sun card here. This is talking about happiness. This is talk, talking about blessings coming your way. This could be a new relationship that's coming towards you where you've been so fixated on the past or trying to rebuild the past. It could be a very toxic situation that you've been dealing with. With the sun card, whether you're ready or not, there is an energy that's coming towards you, Capricorn, that is going to bring to you not only blessings, but that you're going to be able to find your happiness. Let's get deeper into this reading. Let's see exactly what's going on here. All right. So the person of your interest or the person that you're currently with, you're dealing with the two of cups with the knight of wands. Four of swords. Okay. Now your cards here are the seven of cups. <clears throat> Choices. Eight of Swords and the Empress card. Wow, you have the Empress card, Capricorn. Okay, so I definitely see that this person that you're dealing with, the person you've been dealing with here, definitely does have love for you. We have the Two of Cups. Um, I feel that this could be very immature type of energy with the Knight of Wands. 
it does speak out an individual that is very very fiery very passionate very intense usually that indicates a person who likes to argue <laughs> with the four of swords i do see some type of separation some type of temporary separation here or perhaps not communicating how they're viewing the situation they're viewing it like they're not wanting to give up capricorn they feel like if they just wait it out you'll be able to give to them or love them in the way that they would they need to be loved again like i said the knights usually indicate more immature type of energy so i feel that their idea or what they idolize or what they think love is has very like there's not much grounding to that it could be that it's like a fantasy or it could be that um their expectations are are not that grounded in regards to the relationship now with the four of swords there could have been some type like i said some type of separation some type of giving each other some some space type of energy but i do see them being hopeful or wanting uh to be able to fix this relationship now how you're viewing the situation you have seven of cups here you have options capricorn you've had options perhaps now your bird coming to the understanding that you do have options are you really wanting to put more effort in this relationship where it just seems like it doesn't become stable with the eight of swords it's brought to you a lot of anxiety a lot of stress perhaps feeling like you're bound feeling like there's no way out feeling like this is a very toxic type of connection what they're saying over here is like yeah you know i i love capricorn and i'm trying the best i can to be able to get to stability that i desire and that i hope for with the four of swords there's some type of disconnect here and you're over here well pinky i've been trying the best i can i've been trying to give to my partner or this person um show them with actions but it's like they are in la la land or it's like they don't appreciate that because they have this fantasy of how i should be versus who i really am with the eight of swords it's bringing a lot of a lot of stress i feel like i can't breathe i feel like i can't move forward i feel like they're stomping my growth because when I'm trying to chase that paper, when I'm trying to do better for myself, they're over here threatening me, Knight of Wands and the Four of Swords threatening me that if I don't do this or do that, they're going to walk away. Do you have the Empress card here, Capricorn? Let's see what the other cards... Okay, we have the Ten of Cups here and the Queen of Swords. Your cards, Judgment, and the Ace of Coins. Yeah. So what I see here is for some of you guys, it could be a situation where you feel like... Where you feel you're stuck. You feel like you can't really move forward. You don't know what to do in this situation. For some of you guys, there could be children involved. Um... With the Queen of Swords, they're seeing you as being cold and being distant, like something is up. It could be a situation where whenever they feel that you're acting up or that you're not really communicating or that you're being cold and distant, it's like their mind starts to wonder, like, are they being with someone else? Are they dealing with someone else? Perhaps Capricorn, you have a tendency of doing that. Seven of Cups. However... You have a judgment card and the ace of coins. There is a decision to be made here. And I see you guys, for a lot of you Capricorns out there, I see you guys making a decision of starting something new. Or choosing what brings stability to you. Now, this could be a situation where you feel very unstable in your relationship, but in regards to your finances, your finances are booming. 
I see you guys doing amazing financially. And if you don't see that now, you will start to see that. And it's almost like, okay, if you cannot be my peace, then we need to come to terms that it's time to turn a new page. Start something new. Now, for those of you guys that are single, you could have been dealing with very inconsistent type of energy here. But the person definitely did want to manifest some type of long-term um, relationship with you. But I feel that your energy is very immature type of energy. And I feel that it's gotten to the point where you feel like you feel stuck. You're definitely entertaining these other options. With the judgment card, I feel that you're making the choice, the choice that is best for you. With the Empress here, a lot of abundance coming in for you, Capricorns. For those of you guys that are single, there's a new opportunity coming towards you. You may be dealing with an air energy. You may be dealing with water, uh, fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries type of energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Libra here with the Empress as well. There is someone, for those of you guys that are single, I see someone from the past coming back towards you with the Judgment card. There's an offering that's coming through. This could be... Uh, this person's energy where there's distance right now. There's no communication. I see them coming back around and trying to offer you some type of some type of love offering. But you have the Empress here and the judgment. So you're bountiful Capricorn. You're going to be experiencing a lot of abundance, a lot of options in regards to love and romance. Keep in mind, you guys, you are experiencing the new moon in Capricorn today. So this could be a tipping point where people start to confess feelings. People around you may start to come around and be like, hey, I'm interested in you. You know, let's get to know each other. Give me the opportunity, that type of energy. What they're telling you is don't feel all high and mighty, Capricorn. If you start to get options, Give yourself the opportunity to find happiness, yes. But with someone that is much more like you. With someone that wants and has the de desire for a long-term commitment. And if you feel like you don't want commitment, Capricorn, be honest. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight, um, some type of clarity. And we'll see each other soon. Bye. Bye.